Hi everyone, this is Flosan and we have some fun tasks to do, because out of 100 plus heroes of infinite magic raid, I'm gonna be selecting my top 10 attackers of all time. Let's go! Sitting on my top 10 is Melia. She's a versatile hero that can be used in arena, guild boss, and for farming. She can counterattack when her Valkyrie form is activated, and also she can put Todd whenever someone is attacking her. A single target damage dealer that can turn around the game without any reliance on her exclusives. Since Melia's dot is HP burning, we will be needing to stack her as much HP as possible since HP burning takes damage depends on the attacker's max HP. Overall, Melia is just very useful. She can also be used on Space Temple as well. I've experienced it firsthand, and she cleared so many stages just by using her dot alone. On to the next one is Mutu, a one hit delete single target burst that can also turn tables by hitting his critical damage. Tanky on his human form because of 10% less damage taken, so we can safely transform to his wolf form. He will be needing 7 stacks of boiling for him to transform to his wolf form, but he can also obtain those easily by just killing an enemy using his ultimate. Another cool thing about Muru is that when you upgraded his exclusive once, he can keep his wolf form even when you reach the next wave, making him a very reliable speed farmer on your dungeons and at campaign. When equipped with Wild Set or Slay Set, he can deal astronomical damage since critting is just his business. On to our top 8, Sia is waiting for us. She's probably the most powerful critical damage dealer in the game. That's because her skills are just insane. To begin with, both of her active skills cooldown can be reduced by one turn when she does basic attack. That means she can scale faster than anyone else in the battlefield. She can be a big threat in arena as she buffs herself concentration increase that provides her additional 40% crit rate and 60% crit damage for one turn. Her passive skill grants her extra attack to the enemy with the lowest HP, making her attacks lethal, and we're not even talking about her ultimate just yet. Broken Snow in Fully Book deals 720% attack damage. Imagine this combined with concentration increase, she surely packs a surprise. On top of that, her exclusives are imbalanced as it focuses only on killing enemies slowly but surely and she can grant herself 30% AP for extra mobility. Proceeding on our top 7, it's Ariel that owns the spot. She's a deadly late game hero just like Sia, but can burst down your whole squad without being seen. Concealment makes her hidden for one turn every start of the wave, provides her extra damage, and it can proc again and again if she kills an enemy or an ally dies on her vicinity. Having that said, she'll be more effective if teamed up with Vera and Luna that has stealth buff. Other than her concealment passive, she's got another passive that grants her extra 2 attacks to the enemies that has low health. If these skills are fully booked, plus her exclusive being upgraded, she'll become one of the best carries out there in no time. Let's go ahead and introduce our top 6, and it's Dario. The magician that vanishes the enemies with his presence, an absolute madman. This guy is very famous in arena, and it's unfair because when he's stacked with shadow flame, he'll cast disrupting ray to the enemies that has lowest HP. This ignores defense but can't land a crit. Shadow Flame can be collected when he attacks or when enemy dies. It needs 4 stacks to activate when fully booked, and this can happen continuously, sweeping his enemies one by one. 
His exclusive level 3 is what makes him unstoppable because his disrupting ray will strike twice and slashes enemies whose HP is under 10%. Since he cannot land a crit using his ultimate, his equipments are narrowed down to attack and leech sets. But not the worst, right? We are under top 5 and we just can't leave Margarita out of the list. Here's why she's a must. When you upgraded her exclusive 1, her passive and ultimate will become in union. She deals 720% damage from Blade Dance and Counter Attack Command. With buffs of increased critical rate and attack rate, your team will surely turn into dust. When fully booked, she just needs 4 stacks of blades so that Counter Attack Command would proc for 200% attack damage. This is why she's a flexible carry for all dungeons. Let's skip this rolling and discuss about Anna being our top 4. The most explosive carry in the game, literally. She's the only carry that buffs herself 40% speed for 2 turns when she deals that nation damage. Burn, just like HP burning, is a type of dot that explodes for 300% damage when stacked 2 times. This will make her the perfect piece for burn strats, and she can be a very good enabler as she has increased speed. Plus, if we go look at her exclusive 1, her basic attack would apply one more layer of burn which means she can detonate and deal 500% attack damage. That's really intriguing. Imagine her buff with counter attack. She would be really an issue. We are on our top 3 and we have to admit that it's Greta, the one punch woman of this game. Her being a green mark means she can be effective to be placed on your defensive arena lineup. The resist aura is sure helpful against disablers like Asindo, Olcaster, and other red mark heroes that are in meta today. One more thing about Greta is that freaky deadly's potential on bursting is on point. It can burst down targets, even the tankiest. When her exclusives have been upgraded, she can negate 60% of enemy's armor before attacking, and still it's buffs. Quite broken. She's definitely one heck of a self-sustaining carry yet to be abused. Let's smash the top 2 just like Slacto being an automatic top tier. Strip king of this game, your must have to become one of the best in arena. Let's quickly talk about this second skill being overpowered. When the first exclusive have been upgraded, the guy can remove all the buffs so that he can enable his whole team. This way, he can be a natural support slash damage dealer and can bring high impact in the field. Your ideal go-to guy if you want to crush someone in the arena. Aside from that, he can restrict buffs using his frenzied hammer blows deals more direct damage if enemies don't have attribute buffs. His exclusive level 3 gives more power to his ultimate as it increases 2 more stages of attack. Overall, this guy is currently in the meta and will surely reign the game because of his crazy team buffs stripping. Let's reveal our top 1 and it's pretty predictable. That's Maeve. Top 1 on cosmetics, top 1 on being purely awesome. She's an absurd damage dealer with her tier 2 defense break. This can be a guaranteed debuff when an exclusive 1 has been upgraded. Her passive slumber mark can be stacked up to 5 layers, reducing enemy speed for 25% in total and can explode 500% extra attack damage. Damage-wise, her ultimate is on top of the books. She can deal 780% damage with 50% piercing rate. Her exclusive level 2 just made her more powerful as she can buff herself 40% attack and get a stealth buff, making her harder to kill. In damage dealing criteria, she's unnatural, and I can't wait to get her too. 
And that's it for me. I hope you had a fun time. And if you have any thoughts about this top 10 segment, I'll definitely appreciate it if you comment and subscribe. Have an awesome gaming, everyone.